Welcome back to the show. We're now joined by head volleyball coach Angie Bird. Coach, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Let's start off with your most recent performance. The Braves made their first Peach Belt Conference road trip of the season to Lander on Friday and USC Aiken on Saturday. Although you didn't get the results you had hoped for, talk us about talk to us about the two matches with a little bit of emphasis emphasis on the five set thriller against Aiken on Saturday. Um, actually, going into the match, we had a lot, a lot of changes. Right now, we're battling injuries. Uh, we have eight players, and seven of them are injured. So, in that five-set game, it actually came down to the injuries that prevented us from taking the match. Sarah Bow went down in game five. She has an ab strain, and when she went to hit a ball, she said she felt like her ab ripped in half. So, we had to suffer her out and put somebody else in, and the person we put in is battling a knee injury right now. So I think once we get healthy, even at least to 80%, we'll be able to capitalize on those five games wins. Uh, against Lander, we just did not show up at all. We had too many hitting errors. Um, actually, it was kind of odd because on paper, we outscored them and everything, but just the small mental mistakes on the court or just, you know, just that little extra push to just get the ball in bounds and not make a mental mistake, that's what killed us against them. Well, we haven't had the chance to talk to you on the show yet this season, so we'll try to get everybody up to speed. The Braves finished 5-26 and last season and returned just one player from that team. You had a myriad of success before taking the head job at UNC Pembroke prior to last season. So what sort of things did you learn about yourself last year and what positives did you take out of last season that you can now apply to this, year, this season? I would definitely have to say patience uh, in terms of inheriting someone else's team. And with the previous coach, we actually have completely different coaching styles. Uh, he coaches one way and I coach another way, so it's trying to have the kids to buy into the system. That was the hardest part about it, so I had to learn to be patient and just do the best you can with what you have. Uh, this year, uh, our girls are doing really well. Like I said, we have a whole new recruiting class, so it's getting a lot easier now. Well, that one player that you did return is senior Marissa Baker. Even as a freshman, Marissa was one of the more vocal leaders of this squad, but I would imagine she's only grown as a leader from year to year. What role does she serve on this year's team, and what sort of luxury is it for a coach to have a player and a leader like Marissa? Marissa is one of those players that if you could clone them, you would have everybody like her. Uh, I would say I can only imagine how she was as a freshman because right now as a senior, she's an excellent leader on and off the court. Uh, she's there for the girls all the time. She's one of the best kids that I've coached in my whole career of coaching. Uh, she's a captain for us this year. Marissa is also a versatile player. We can actually play her anywhere with her true position being a libero or defensive player. Actually, right now we have her playing middle and outside. She doesn't complain about anything. She just goes hard. She does whatever she has to do for the team, and she's just one of those kids that every coach would love to have. Through 14 matches this season, fans of the program have gotten to learn more about the host of newcomers you have on your squad. You pretty much had an open canvas to work with this season in rebuilding your team, but I'm going to give you two questions here. What things have, been, have you been pleased with so far, and what potential do you see in your team going forward, not just this year, but next year as well? So far, we've been pleased with the team chemistry and how well the girls have along. Uh, like you said, I've only brought back one player, so trying to adjust everybody into getting to know each other, having their personalities mesh with each other, they've done a great job with that. Uh, looking forward, because they're so talented and they're meshing well, I think by the time this group are seniors, it'll be hard to beat them. Let's talk about some of those newcomers that have made a splash for you so far. We'll start off with your specialist. Danielle Brown currently leads the Peach Belt Conference with 211 digs, mm -hmm. and Shekinah Joy Tolumu currently ranks second in the league with 9.93 assists per set. It seems like those two players have already settled into their roles. Yes, I would say so. Danielle has actually played for me at the JUCO level as well, so Danielle knew what to expect coming in. Uh, sometimes she's actually battling a little bit of tendonitis in her knees, but she pushes through that all the time regardless. She does a great job. I mean, she goes hard every time. Uh, Shekinah, she is pretty much a true leader in herself. Um, she's had to face a lot of adversity coming in and she still stays positive and stays strong. She's doing a great job for us and I think she's only going to get better from here. You have some hitting prowess as well as your Caroline Cridgen has emerged as the early leader on your team with 119 kills, but she's followed closely behind by, by Sabrina Gonzalez with 95. Mm -hmm. Do you find a sense of contentment in the fact that both of those players are freshmen and you will have three more years in which to work with them and make them better? Never content. I never want to be content. We always just want to keep pushing and pushing. Uh, those who are freshmen and they are leading right now, and I think they're only going to get better. They're getting better every day. They're working hard. Our goal is to have them at least in the top two in the conference by the time they're seniors. Well, we're going to take a quick break, and when we get back, we'll keep talking with Coach Angie Bird, so stay tuned.
University of North Carolina at Pembroke was founded in 1887 by American Indians to provide education to the local community to ensure a pathway to success. Today, we're part of the world-renowned University of North Carolina system, but the spirit of our founding still guides us. Our strong academics are exemplified by standout programs in education, athletic training, business, and nursing, and by students working with professors on groundbreaking research. Explore the brave spirit today.